Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we know that the Indian Navy is in process of inducting 24 MH60R helicopters from United States. The helicopter is also going to be equipped with anti-ship missiles which Navy will be procuring from Konsberg, a Norwegian company which has developed NSHML anti-ship missile with a range of 185 km. At present, India does not have an indigenous missile option in this category. Now, back in year 2018, DRDO has first announced that it is working on a helicopter-launched anti-ship missile NSM-SR or Naval Anti-Ship Missile Short Range. The missile was unveiled for the first time during the Defence Expo 2020. Post the completion of its development, the NSM-SR will replace the earlier Sea Eagle missiles and complement the NSH-ML missiles. The Norwegian NSH-ML weighs around 400 kg with 125 kg of warhead and has a larger range of 185 km. On 18th May 2022, the Ministry of Defence has reported the successful maiden flight test of indigenously developed naval anti-ship missile launched from a naval helicopter from integrated test range ITR Chandipur. The helicopter from which missile was test fired is Indian Navy's Sea King helicopter. Now, as per the latest report, DRDO is in process of selecting a private sector defense firm to build imaging infrared IIR seeker system for naval anti-ship missile to deliver 16 units of the seeker. This is initial order and much bigger order may follow on. Now, talking about NASMSR capability, it is a short range missile with a range between 5 to 55 kilometers, which is less when compared to Norwegian NSH ML. The missile weighs close to 375 kgs with 100 kilograms of warhead, which has unique multi-EFP that is explosively formed penetrator and will be effective against small and medium ships. This is the first time DRDO has implemented multi-EFP warhead in one of its weapon system. The NSM-SR will be powered by a solid fuel rocket motor. The missile will have maximum speed of Mach 0.8. The missile will have both sea skimming and lofted trajectory flight modes. The missile can be launched from an altitude of just 91 meters to 3 kilometers. The missile can cruise at an altitude of 15 meters during mid course and 5 meters during terminal stage. For the first 35 kilometers, the missile has flight duration of 130 seconds, and for the rest of the course till 55th kilometer, it is 200 seconds. The missile has all with the lock on after launch capability. It also has capability for automatic target selection. It uses inertia navigation and altimeter for mid-course guidance and IIR seeker for terminal homing. It also has two-way data link which can help it to abort or change the target. The sea skimming IIR seeker and two-way data link makes the jamming and detection of the missile very difficult. DIDU has also planned the development of its future version which are NASM MR that is medium range and LR that is long range. NASM SR is being developed will be integrated with MS60R, Sea King and LHMK3 helicopters. MBDA has also pitched Indian Navy with its Sea Venom missile which has a range of 25 km and Marte ER with a range more than 100 km for the IMRH program. DRDO's NSM-SR will also be able to fit into this requirement of Indian Navy and will supplement the limited stock of Konsberg Naval Strike Missile. The missile was also seen in the center pylon of Ted Bay fighter jet model during Defense Expo 2022, which hints towards its capability to be launched from aircrafts as well. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.